Right, um, I think we're ready for us to begin. Would you mind starting us off by introducing yourself? So, what's your name? My name? My name is Stefan Zeiss. And for those of us who aren't familiar with your, you and your work, would you mind telling us what you do? I'm a revolutionary, an artist, a sculptor, a performer. I work with hair in ways others have not before. I'm an artist. But instead of paint, I use hair. Instead of a brush, I use scissors. This sculpt is my canvas. So, what is it that sets you so far apart from other hairdressers? Hairdresser? I am not a bloody hairdresser. I'm an artist. That is exactly what sets me apart from other hairdressers. I do not dress hair, I create. My work is about creation and the process of this. It is more than just styling, it is reinvention. It didn't just change hair, I persuade it to be reborn into something it has never been before. We believe that you have an exhibition coming up in London soon. Could you describe to us the sort of thing people will be able to see there? Maybe you could try and explain to us what a typical piece of your work's like? Typical? <laughs> There's nothing typical about my work. Everything I create is original. Something nobody has ever seen before. You expect me to describe my work in words? Art cannot be described in words. My work is about form, space, beauty. These are ideas you must see with your eyes to understand. Well, would it be possible for us to see some of your work then? So this is my studio space, uh, this is where the genius happens, so to speak. Uh, here's some of my work, some drawings, a piece of sculpture, and a new place I'm working at the moment, but uh, I'm not sure format it will take yet. Uh, this is a painting, uh, but obviously done with hair instead of paint. These two pieces will be featuring in my exhibition in London. Uh, so what do you think? Yeah, yeah, they're very interesting. I know. These pieces are all very different to anything we've seen before with hair. Um, how do you realise your work? Could you uh, at all explain to us the thought process you take from starting a new piece? Uh, my thought process and the approach I take towards my work is a very complex thing. Uh, again, it's something I, not, I could not express in words. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, that would be great if you could. Okay, before I begin, I must ask for complete silence from everyone. Uh, an artist needs 100% concentration when working. I mean, you would not ask one golf to have a conversation with you while he was working with you. Genius. So, as well as your recent success in the media and your upcoming exhibition in London, we've also heard that you've been writing a book. Would you mind explaining what it's about? Ah, uh, yes, my book. The Art of Hair. Essentially, it is whatever you want it to be. A guide, an inspiration to others, a manifesto of how the hair artist should be. A reasoning or an explanation to why my work is so different to others. So really, it's an account of the methods in which you work. If that is what you want it to be, then yes. So what format does your book take? How do you communicate what you want to say about you and your work? My book is split into ten very defined areas. 
these 10 points are the most influential ideas behind my success. Would you mind summing up each of these chapters in a sentence, just so we can all get an idea of what to expect? Yes. Number one, you're not a trainee, you're a junior sculptor. Number two, this is not a job, it is art. Number three, make your work a performance, a dance, a journey. Number four, show passion over perfection. Number five, become the hair, feel its energy. Number six, allow your tools to become an extension of your body. Number seven, people are not just customers. They are the frame through which your art will be viewed. Number eight, work in silence. Number nine, do not look at hair, look at art. And number ten, success will only come when you and hair meet harmoniously on the same plane.